works on cancer stem cells and it's been sort of a labor of love because I see patients in the clinic and although it's just once a week they're very gripping stories and the idea behind the cancer stem cell hypothesis is that these cells become dormant in a protective microenvironment and then are responsible for relapse. So the number one cause of death due to cancer is relapse because people don't respond to initial therapy. So really we're trying to eradicate that malignant group of cells that resist standard therapy. First detect them, then eliminate them using less draconian therapies than what I've been used to in the past. And so in that way you help to retain people's integrity, their ability to look forward to the future. We've done that now a couple of times with two cancer stem cell targeted therapies and we're trying to bring two more forward to the clinic and hopefully to use them in combination where appropriate to really almost be able to come off therapy. So if we can come up with these potentially curative strategies, I think that we're more likely to get ahead in the future in terms of reducing healthcare costs but of course improving people's lives and that's the ultimate aim of cancer stem cell directed therapy.